strange story took an even stranger twist. Yeah, a monster and a mouse run from a mad scientist. Ooh. Now, Wackerstein wants this monster to have Flatnutsky's brain. Olga's always bored, and that doctor's just insane. Oh, come on. The mouse and the monster. The mouse and the monster. The mouse and the monster. <laughs> Real Tone News travels the world. This week, Sweden, the Nutball Institute. Sick geniuses from around the world are gathered here for the annual Nutball Prizes, awarded for the evil and mental instability all mad scientists strive for. Ah, they're not paying me enough. This newsreel voice is <laughs> murder on the tonsils. <laughs> Anyway, our heroes, Mo and Chez, are winging their way to Sweden. But look who's already there. The Nutball Prize should be mine. But how can I win until the two halves of my greatest achievement? You, you, my precious brain, and that Flaschlinger monster are united. Hmm, a land with six months of darkness. The monotony intrigues me. Unfortunately for Doc, he's not the only nutball in town. Amateur! Dabbler! Unworthy! Unworthy! You call that mad science? Yeah! They should be chasing me! Finally, we agree on something. And what's a city full of nutballs without a couple of meatballs, huh? Is this a great plan or what? Uh, give me a hint? It's a great plan. Halfway across the planet to Sweden for the World Meatball Eating Championship. All the meatballs we can eat, and it's free. Spanky! Now I get to see where meatballs grow! <laughs> I hate chess. Like, when do we eat? <laughs> they spurn us, but they can't ignore us. The brain of the great Flatnotsky will be the best looking brain at the awards. Oh, la, la. <coughs> this might feed my vision if you use the three trunks, yes? Remember, Bupkis loser. Nye, nye, nye. It is honor shows to be nominated. But I wasn't nominated! And after I went and wrote a speech, too. Meanwhile, back with our meatballs, uh, uh, meatball contest. Now remember, Mo, this mm. contest is about endurance, not speed. Uh, endurance. You pace yourself. Pace. You make every meatball count. Every meatball. You start your pacemaker. Wait, no. Uh, On count your, your meatballs. Get set. Go. Uh, a poised and ready Mo carefully plans his meatball eating strategy. Yeah, all right. Well, he did start slow. Let's join in the fun at the Nutball Award, shall we? Huh? Okay, thank you, Hoopy, and thank you, Nutball Dancers. Now it's time for the Dr. Schmackle Bad Guy in Humanitarian Award. This year's recipient has been called soulless, ruthless, and just downright mean. Oh, I'll never win. And it's all because of that pesky mouse. Breathtakingly dull. I amaze myself. 87 pounds of meatballs later, Moe's left his competition in the dust. But alas, he hasn't left room for dessert. Oh, come on. Uh. Hey!
I ain't made out of cast iron, you know. Come on, take it easy. Mo, Mo, you, you gotta stop eating. You, you've got meatballs coming out of your ears. Can't hear you, Chisel. I've got meatballs coming out of my ears. Uh. And we have our wiener. And I know you will be excited at your prize. The World Meatball Eating Championships home game, complete with 1,000 plastic meatballs. Mo! <laughs> You don't feel so good. Excuse me. I don't feel so good either. We've got to get you to a doctor. Garbo, you be... In a fjord, a, a, a silicone skull, in this smorgasbord. In, oh, oh. D doctor! You want doctor? Uh-oh, something tells me this isn't such a great idea. Oh. And the best supporting nutball goes to Dr. Zerba. Yes, yes, I knew it! <laughs> In there, doctor, doctor! Yeah, doctor, mad doctors, lots of them. And our meatballs finally meet the nutballs. Oh, somebody help me. Is there a doctor in the house? My monster! At last! The Nutball Prize will be mine! Oh no! Of all the luck, he's here! Come on, Mo! Uh, uh, don't feel so good, Chisel. Need to go to the little monster's room. <sighs> At last! Destiny is mine! <laughs> Uh-oh! Doc's got Mo! Mo's got a stomach ache! And Olga's got a whole evening to kill in Sweden. How will our heroes get out of this one? When the mouse and the monster continues. When we left Chez in a slightly overstuffed Mo, the unthinkable had happened. Doc finally had Mo in his clutches once and for all. <laughs> Need the bathroom, Chisel. I demand that these awards be delayed until the blue monster is captured and my work can be judged in its entirety. In the meantime, my assistant Igor will entertain you. It's Olga, you vertically challenged boopkiss of a man, and I am your wife. <laughs> Silence! For my first piece, I shall enact through dance and hand puppets the existential despair of the Lutefisk. <laughs> Applause is discouraged. Doc's got one chance to finally win the Nutball Award. He's got to capture Mo. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. I would like to thank the Institute for this great honor. But I'd never be here without the support of my mother, who taught me how to synthesize halitosis at an early age. Out of my way, coming through. Say, have you seen a mouse and a huge blue monster around here? Oh, yeah, uh, for sure. Monsters every day. Her, her, her. <laughs> Bathroom like a uh, lavatorium. Like a flusserini. Uh, <laughs> I spawn! I 
Jam Kot. And what would a story set in Sweden be without a Viking ship? Backstage at the Nutball Awards. Now, who writes this stuff? That was close. Let's get out of here. Like, uh, do you think there's a boat room in this bath? I mean, a bathroom in this boat here. Are you nuts? If we don't. Your lack of response inspires me. I shall now enact the history of Scandinavia, from the Ice Age to the present. Hello, Comrade Glacier. Your heart is cold, but what of global warming? Yoo-hoo! Monster! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Time for my award! Now! Time for your brain transplant! Large blue monstrosity! <laughs> oh, excuse me. Destiny beckons. Where are we going, daddy -o? I don't care, so long as it's far away from Wackerstein and meatballs. Wait, oh, hey, that reminds me. I gotta go. But evil, badly in need of thermal underwear, antifreeze, and a good compass can't be far behind, <laughs> right? You'll never escape! Do you hear me? Never! If it takes a hundred years, I'll track you down! And I will, too! You should have thought of that before we left. Now mush, you mutt! Well, looks like our boys are set to sail home on this mystery ship, complete with snacks. Yeah, life should be so easy. Well, I guess this is better than the baggage compartment of an airplane, except I'm starting to feel a little queasy. I know what that's like, Mouse Kit. Oh, you think there's a boat room on this bath? All right, people, Viking funeral scene. We've only got one take. Let's do it right. Cue the flaming arrows. What was that? Don't worry, pal. Just go back to sleep. You'll feel better. I'm just having a little Barbie barbecue. Yeah, save some for me. 